Well, look at that. It's happening all over again for the first time. This is Kevin Johnson of Leverage Consulting, and this is the Resilient Entrepreneur Podcast number two. And the last one I talked about entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship, photography, and how that drew a really good example. Some of you know, some of you don't know. When COVID, coronavirus, call it whatever you'd like, I'm sure you have some other colorful names that we won't bother to share on this podcast. When that hit, I think many of us, all of us, were in a tailspin, weren't quite sure what to do. We, I mean, this is, I think uh, some of the words that I heard were unprecedented and a few other adjectives. And they, and it was, I mean, it is something that many of us were not used to. Many of the clients that I work with are in the medical and dental field. And, you know, some of them, when they left residency, dental school, what have you, that's when AIDS was hitting. And many of them were going into their field of practice at that time when AIDS was hitting the scene. And oddly enough, none of what we see going on right now, you know, we we didn't see a lot of the economy changing and and other things. I mean, there was a lot of precautions, a lot of other things going on in the world, but not like how we see it right now. And this is not to be political or anything else. This is purely just to be a entrepreneur's look at, at what's going on in the world right now and how it affects you and your business. So I think a lot of us, again, are sitting around going, what's going on right now? Because we do have, we have things coming from our local governmental agencies. We have things coming from potentially your medical and dental boards. We have things coming from your own training, coming th- things coming from your own uh, logic and decision making. And really, again, a lot of this is just a lot of folks don't know what to do. All the way, all those agencies and and different departments and so forth that I just mentioned, a lot of folks just don't know what to do. So with that, I realized that some practitioners, entrepreneurs, and so on, at times can feel a little bit defeated because we don't have a clear-cut path. But let me tell you something. This literally is the time that defines entrepreneurs. This is when, if you look at an Elon Musk, who just put people into space not long ago, you look at uh, you know, people who have invented, you know, Bill Gates, when he decided that he's putting a computer on every desktop. And to, that hadn't been done before. Jeff Bezos had, you know, there wasn't another, there wasn't a, a blueprint for Jeff Bezos to follow for him to say, you know what, I'm going to be the world's biggest retailer. And it's all going to be online. I'm not even going to have a store. So... This right now defines entrepreneurship. This is people figuring it out. And that's really what everybody's doing right now. I understand there's times where we all feel, we may feel like we're helpless. We may feel like we're defeated or what have you. I've talked to a couple of clients literally just yesterday. And both of them have a very similar issue. And and both issues were related to team members who are potentially leaving their their uh, their business or practice um, or ones that are leaving and you know the uh, the crazy thing is with everything going on right now I believe it's really easy right now to blame things on COVID coronavirus again however you, whatever you want to call it it's easy to blame it on things but I will tell you what everybody is looking for right now and it doesn't matter. If you are a dentist, a surgeon, a home builder, a real estate agent, programmer, doesn't matter what you do. Everybody's looking for a leader. Everybody's looking for somebody who's willing to pick a path and run with it. And, you know, again, if if you're selling homes, you know, at one point in time, if you watch the news, well, we have coronavirus, the office, the uh, state is shut down and you can't we we can't sell houses well interestingly enough if you want to get somewhere bad enough you figure out a way to get there if you get if your plane gets delayed and this is your two week once in a lifetime vacation you will find a way to get that destination and this is your livelihood you need to figure out a way to do it so you know as an example shelly my wife when when we had a shutdown here in North Carolina, she went to some very influential people and worked to get a way for real estate agents to do their job. For many of you who are in the medical and dental environment, you find a way to where you can practice and provide your services 
to the community. Now, mind you, it's one point in time. I, many of you had a very limited schedule based on what the laws and regulations were or recommendations were in your area. But still, we find a way to continue with our business. And again, everybody's looking for a leader, someone who's willing to find the path, pick the path, share the path with everyone else, and start running down the path. That is entrepreneurship. And everyone, you know, everybody wants to know what it is that we're supposed to do. And again, since it's uncharted, it, this is something that hasn't been done before. We're, we literally, it's, it's alive. It's something like that, that we can't, we're not going to just fall asleep through this. We're not going to just like get into a lazy pattern like we may be able to do with other things. This is something that just feels alive. Again, entrepreneurship. So I think when you look around your community, and this is something you'll have to ask yourself, you know, you can, you can, in my mind, you can classify a lot of people, a lot of business owners in your area and put them into three different categories. There are those who have gone into hiding, there are those who are surviving, and there are those who are thriving. And I will tell you from walking the South Park Mall here in Charlotte, North Carolina, to talking to business owners dentists and surgeons. I know people in each one of the, or businesses in each one of those categories. If you're not in that thriving category, I can tell you it's not just Lowe's. It's not because everybody's been in quarantine and they're doing home projects. There are plenty of businesses out there who have figured out a way to continue doing what they do and thrive. There are some who are surviving, and when I say surviving, I'm talking about we're, we're on maybe doing 50% of what we used to do. We're doing, some, for some, even far less than that. And then there are those who have gone into hiding because they don't know what to do. You have to look at, if you're in that hiding or surviving category, you need to start looking to those who are thriving or talk to people who know how those people are thriving. There's one question you need to keep asking is how. How are they doing it? And just keep asking how. Be like a petulant five-year-old and keep asking how. Because if you, as entrepreneurs, or those of you who are working for entrepreneurs, you have households, you have kids, you have other things that you have to, serve, that you have to support or maintain. And for some of you who are the entrepreneur, the business owner, some of you even the manager, think about the people that work for you. Again, they're looking up to you for someone to lead the way, but also help them support their own households. And those of you who keep asking that question, how, or, and whether you're just running it in your mind and you find that path, or you look to others to help you find that path, you figure it out because there is, there is no winning or that hiding category or that surviving category. It's only in the thriving category and it's out there. There are homes being sold. There are patients, literally, who have been waiting to see a practitioner. Many people are ready to get on with their lives. And, I, and this, this might be uh, one where some of you listening to this, you're not ready to get out. And that's fine. Totally fine. That's the beauty of where we live. That's the beauty of what we have is the fact that everyone has choices. So if folks are able to do their business and do it safely and provide those services or those products to folks and do so in a safe environment and allow their business to thrive, then so be it. We all make choices every day. The question is right now for you is are you going to be in the hiding category, the surviving category, or are you going to be in the thriving category? So that, my friends is Resilient Entrepreneur Podcast number two. I bet you can't wait for the next one.